I want to talk about how AI and AI agents are going to change every aspect of our life, personal, financial, everything. Three things I want to say. Number one, agents are going to be, in the next few years, the next step of the user-centric economy. Now, I know many of you are from the crypto web three world. Some of you might be from the institutional world like me. Actually, I don't know what world I'm in now. I'm sort of in a kind of gray area, sort of a uh, Netherland. But um, whether it's web three, whether it's web two, agents are going to give us the next step of a user-centric economy. My dream is that we're going to be, just like we have apps for everything, we're going to have agents for everything. And some of these agents will hopefully be acting on our behalf not on the behalf of my company, but on the behalf of me as an individual. We will all in our pockets have a, maybe a finance agent, maybe a health agent, maybe a leisure agent. So that's point number one. I think we're all going to have lots of do-it-for-me agents. Point number two, golden age of startups. We're going to see lots and lots of two-person, two-intern, and agent startups. And point number three, and if you're in the crypto world, you know this already, obviously, bad bots and deep fakes. One of the catalysts for the traditional finance world to embrace AI, agentic or otherwise, is going to be the tsunami of incoming agentic powered, gen AI powered fraud. The bad guys are always early adopters of any new technology and it's going to be the same for Agentic AI. We're going to have to use Agentic AI ourselves to fight this. Now, the user-centric economy, what, do, what does that mean? I think we all have a digital Jarvis in our wallets, in our digital wallets. We don't need to be Iron Man or Elon Musk or a billionaire to have that. We're all going to have, in the next few years, a digital Jarvis in our wallet. And the question is, who's going to provide? Who's going to provide this for us? Are we going to go to our favorite crypto protocol? Are we going to our bank? Are we going to the default, which is, I think, is going to be this? I think our default is going to be whichever ecosystem we're in, the U.S. or the Chinese, whoever's smartphone we're using, that's going to be the default for the agent. Um, and. The clients will have bots before the providers of financial services do, because large companies move slowly, because we're regulated. Consumers, users are going to adopt agents much faster than big firms. And it's going to be interesting how we then have to change the way we sell. Today, you sell to an individual. In the future, you'll be selling to the individual's agent or smart bot. So there's going to be a change in basically the marketing commercial relationship. Huge amount of funding going into autonomous agents in the Web2 world. City Ventures um, in Web2 um, AI investing with a number one in, uh, we have like 12, 13% market share. And the two key categories we've been investing in are autonomous agents and digital co-workers and Gen AI uh, for customer support. Now, startups, if you're as old as me, you have friends, or you yourself try to do a startup in the 1990s. And if you try to do a startup in the 1990s, most of the startups failed because of the CapEx cost. What the 2000s and the 2010s did was turn CapEx into OpEx. Cloud. What AI and agentic AI is going to do is turn OpEx human OPEX into software subscription. And that's going to lead to a massive increase in scalability of new companies. In financial services, the question is, how quickly will our regulators move? Um, maybe in some countries faster than others. I'm based in the UAE. The regulator in the UAE is generally quite forward thinking. So we think we're going to have a golden age of startups. Um, and believe it or not, Old-fashioned banks are actually spending a huge amount of money. This is um, some data we managed to get out of Microsoft. Um, I was surprised by that number. I thought financial services and banks would be much further down. Um, this is basically show social media companies. 
So social media companies are the biggest spenders on Gen AI, followed by finance. Why? Experience. Existing incumbents in finance were slow to mobile. They were slow to e-commerce. They don't want to be slow to AI. We'll probably be slow because of governance. We'll be slow, but there's a lot of money going in. A lot of it's in pilots, pilotitis, but there's a lot of, a lot of money going in. And there's a huge amount of data here and we're short of time. It's late in the day. You can find all of this online. There was a QR code at the start, which I should have spent more time on. Um, it's, uh, if you just type in my name or put in CITI GPS, you'll get the report on the Gentic AI. The last point I want to make is um, illicit actors, bad actors. Over half of all internet traffic is bots today. Uh, 50, 60% of all internet traffic is bots. Uh, not just in crypto, in every internet activity, half is bots. And there's huge amount of very, very convincing Gen AI based attacks that are happening all the time in Switzerland, in the UAE, all over the world. Um, I've met many senior bankers whose institutions have been targeted. Um, these are typically, you get a voice call from a client. You're, I was chatting to a private banker in Geneva recently, a couple, few months ago. Um, one of his very, very senior bankers got a call from a high level individual in Geneva sounded exactly like the individual. You know what the story is. He almost transferred the money. Luckily, the bank's tech systems weren't that good. There was a failure in the transaction. He did a callback. And in the callback, he realized, because he's a very senior guy, right? How, the people who make the mistakes are the very senior people. Because the junior people follow the rules. The rules in a private bank is you do a callback. You don't take an incoming call and send the money. Because voice now, you can replicate voice. Video is getting there, but you can replicate voice. This story was of a mother, and mothers can tell their children's voice. They can, it's really, you know, you're biological, I'm a, I'm a dad, you can tell. It's, you're biologically programmed. She got a call from a deep fake pretending to be her daughter who was kidnapped, and the daughter was crying, and it sounded exactly like the daughter crying. Um, we don't get that in banking, people crying on the phone, but we get clients saying, transfer money. Corporate treasurers. Uh, there's a very famous case some of you will be aware of in Hong Kong. 250 million Hong Kong dollars go transferred. So a lot of the spending on the Gentech AI is going to be in Gen AI is going to be because we've got to fight, fight bad actors. So wrapping it all up, you're all going to have additional Jarvis, um, particularly in areas like wealth management and personal finance management. We're going to have additional Jarvis. Number two, we're going to get a lot of startups coming in both Web two and web three, and number three, bad bots and deep fakes are gonna push us in this direction. Um, if you're interested in what I said, I have to run back to Zurich, so I'm rushing. Uh, if you're interested in what I said, just download the report. My details are in the report. Ping me, ping me on email, social media, whatever, I'll reply. Thank you so much for listening.